Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nate Panda, and if you are tuned in today, you are here for a different and a new type of video that I'm bringing on my channel. I don't see myself doing hair reviews consistently, just because for me personally, I am a beginner when it comes to hair. I'm not experienced at all. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of videos where my hair looks crazy, and that's why I was super excited when Sage Extensions reached out to me because they came to me in a different approach. I've had a lot of different brands reach out to me for hair, and I'm just not interested in just telling you guys about something just to promoted just to make money that's not what I'm here for at all Sage Extensions is a black owned raw hair company and I think that's what made me really really excited about it is the fact that I was able to meet with the owner at an event we were able to talk we were able to talk about the hair and this is a new business venture for her so as you guys know I always talk about black owned makeup brands so if I'm going to talk about hair it's very fitting that I'm talking about a black owned hair brand so if you are interested in seeing how I revived the hair after wearing it for two months, having all types of product build up, as well as got to be glue spray in it, make sure you go ahead and keep on watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so before I go ahead and start washing the bundles, I just wanted to show you this Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar with the Mother. Whenever I get new bundles, the first thing that I do is I take some of this apple cider vinegar, I take some water, I take the hair and I put it in a bowl like this and I let it sit for an hour. I will go ahead right now and insert some clips of what this hair looked like when I did the apple cider vinegar wash. So guys, this is the Sage Extensions hair and I currently just put it in the apple cider vinegar wash just to make sure that there's no chemicals in it or to get any chemicals that are there out because I have super sensitive skin. And I just want you to compare what this hair is looking like just sitting in the water for a few minutes compared to this hair that I'm assuming was purchased from China. This is disgusting. And I actually bought this hair from someone and then I got a rash on my face. So I decided to just do the apple cider vinegar wash to get any additional chemicals out. But just look at the difference between this hair compared to the Sage Extensions hair. The hair that you buy is super important and it's super important to just invest and I'm starting to learn that more and more because this is not my first time breaking out from hair but I just wanted to do a comparison. To so as far as the materials that I have for this wash, I have this bowl that I use specifically for my wigs and for my hair. I really like it because of the shape of it. It allows the full wig to get inside without being too um, like crushed together. Next I have my shampoo and for today I'm going to be using the Tresemme moisture rich shampoo you don't need anything too fancy um for my conditioner i usually use silicon mix and i'll insert a picture of that but i ran out so i'm just going to use what i have here i feel like anything that you can use on your real hair you can also use on bundles so i'm just going to use this as a deep conditioner on the hair and then once i rinse out the hair from the wash and the conditioner i like to put in this it's a 10 keratin spray um, I just feel like it adds shine to the hair so that once it dries overnight, it will be flawless and silky honey. So these are the only three products that I'm going to use and I will of course be linking them in the description box down below. Now let me go ahead and show you guys some clips of the hair. Now this hair has been through a lot honey. So I've actually been wearing this hair for about a month or two months now. I'll put the exact time but it's been about two months off and on. I don't wear it every single day, but I wear it enough to know what it is like. So the reason why the hair is looking a little frizzy right now is because I put some curls in it. Um, and you guys can see those curls in the previous videos that I will link above. And I applied Got To Be Spray all over the hair just because um, I didn't have hairspray to hold the curls. So as you guys can see, it's a little frizzy. Um, it's not as silky smooth as I know it could be. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it to kind of revive it. And I will put the specific specs of this hair in the description down below. Excuse all of my wires. One mistake that I made, so it came as a pre-made wig. Guys, I went pluck crazy. I plucked this so much. So I'm also going to redo the part. When it comes to redoing any part of any wig, you really want to wait until the hair is wet. Because that's when you will be able to actually um, part it and have it stay with that part. All right, so now I'm just showing you guys what the closure looks like. I'm showing you the actual hair itself. So as you guys can see, we need some TLC. It's frizzy. It looks a little dry. The luster has gone down a lot. And the good thing with this hair is that it does last up to two years because raw hair does last longer than processed hair because of the fact that the natural texture hasn't really been tampered with. So I'm just going ahead and I'm applying water on the hair first just to wet it, just to get out any additional gunk that's there. Then I'm going to go ahead and going with that shampoo. I do put a lot of shampoo on 
even though I wouldn't put some on my natural hair, when it comes to any bundles, I like to put a lot just because I want to rinse it thoroughly. And as you guys see, I'm also cleaning the lace itself because I've applied powder, if I've applied concealer, anything that's on that lace, I want to get it off. And then I just like to squeeze the hair down to kind of squeeze out any product buildup. And this is just off of my first wash. And as you can see, the shampoo does look a little brown. You can't really see the sink, but I definitely was able to see all of the product that had built up from me wearing it for the past two months. So I'm just making sure that I get the shampoo all through the hair and that I rinse it out until it is clear. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my second wash. And with this one, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with the way that I wash the hair. So I'm really going to get inside of those strands, get inside of the bundle, wash the top of the lace as well. And then I'm going to continue to rinse it out until it is squeaky clean to my liking. And for me personally, um, I also like sometimes to use this part of the water, as you guys see, to spray it, just to make sure that every strand of the hair gets coated to make sure that it's all cleaned. And then I just run my hand through the hair until I see that it is clear and that there's no shampoo left. Then I'm going to go ahead and brush out the hair right now just to get out any, um, just to make sure that it's detangled. And then I'm going to take some of that TGIN conditioner and I'm going to put it in the hair. I like to start from the middle and go up to the top, but I make sure that every single part of the hair is coated. Make sure every single part of the hair has a conditioner just because every single part needs it, especially after I apply two coats of that shampoo and I use the lot. Shampoo does strip hair of its natu natural luster, so I do want to make sure that I'm able to put some of that back in when I am conditioning the hair. And I go ahead and I put it back in the sink just to rinse out any extra water. And then I am going to go ahead and brush through the hair. And as you guys can see, there was some tug and pull with the hair as I was brushing it because it was a little tangled after being washed. It was a little tangled after like wearing it for a while, but just look at the amount of shedding that I got. It was not that much. And I'm just going to go ahead and run my fingers through the hair one more time just to make sure that it's fully conditioned. And usually I will apply it in a plastic bag by itself, but I just put the plastic bag over the container just so that there could be more heat trapped inside of it and then I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for about an hour so an hour has passed and now I'm coming back and I'm just rinsing the top of the hair and letting the conditioner come out I'm just applying the water so that it could run through and I feel like you guys can already see a difference in the texture of the hair you see a difference in the luster of the hair it already looks smoother just from that conditioning that I just put it through which is what I really really like about this conditioner and what I really like about the hair as well this time when I'm brushing through it you don't really see as much of tug and pull it's an easy 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 brush through and I feel like because of the fact that the hair is steam processed in order to get the different textures and it's not dipped in any harsh chemicals like most companies' hairs have been, it just makes it super easy to comb through it, to condition it, and to get it back to its original state. So I just sprayed in some of that It's a 10 Keratin spray and I really, really like this. Y'all, look at the part. Look at that part honey it has to go so i'm just trying to figure out where i want the actual hair to be parted i feel like the original part that i did right here um was too close to where i did too much plucking and i didn't want it to be see-through so i just went ahead and parted the hair more and as you guys saw i have so much space with this lace lace which is what i really like as well um so now i'm just looking at the hair making sure that i do like the way that it looks and honestly the quality of this the way that it was able to just change and get back to its original state is really important so that you don't end up spending like $300 every six months trying to get new hair. You can just invest and have great quality like we see here. So I let that air dry overnight and now I'm just turning it so that you guys can see what the hair looks like. This is without any product after air drying and I'm just pulling it out just so that you guys can see the volume and see how thick this hair is. Again, I could not believe that this was only three bundles. So I'm just pulling it to show you guys um, the the pull that you see is not from the actual hair, it's from the wig stand, um, but I also showed you how thick it was until the end. So because I didn't let it dry overnight for 24 hours, I did just want to run through it with the blow dryer just so that I can make sure it was super, super dry. Um, and again, I'm just showing you guys the thickness because as I was doing the hair, I was just like, yo, I can't to this day believe that this is only three bundles at this length because usually I have to get at least four or five bundles to get this look. And then one of my last steps is just running over the hair with a flat iron. Now, I'm not really doing this section by section, part by part, because I do still want it to look like it has volume. So I'm just straightening it just so that I can get the frayaways down and just to make sure that the hair looks silky. And then I'm applying a few curls just to puff it out a little bit so that, again, I have some volume. Now let me go ahead and put it on my head and show you guys what it looks like. 
All right, guys, so now that you saw how I revised it, I did go ahead and put it on. Now, I'm not going to come here and show you guys how I actually lay the wig because I'm not perfected that aspect of it yet. Um, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. The part was way too thick a few days ago. So I went ahead and I reparted it as you guys saw, and I feel like it looks so much better now. I don't know how people be doing baby hairs because I can't. I can't. Like, I really cannot. I'm trying. Um, but as you guys can see, the hair looks super beautiful. I purposely did not add any product to the hair, even when I showed you guys how to put a little bit of a curl in it, because I want you to see what it looks like in its natural texture, in its natural state after being washed, conditioned, blow dried, and strained a little bit. So there's literally no product in here except for a little bit of mousse that I put at the top. Um, and this is the natural luster of the hair. So it's not super, super shiny, but at the same time, you see a little bit of a sheen. It just looks really, really healthy. It's super thick, as you guys saw in the video. And honestly, I'm shocked that it's only three bundles because usually when I purchase Brazilian hair, I feel like the top is usually thick, but then as you get to the bottom, it's really thin. Whereas with this hair, I feel like from the very top all the way to the very end, it is super, super thick, which I think is helpful because in the long term, you end up saving money because you're spending less on bundles. You don't have to buy four. You can just do the normal three bundles in a closure and be fine. This is also an 18-inch closure, if I did not mention that before. And what I really like about the closure is that it is pretty, like, wide. And as you guys saw in the video, there's a lot of space for you to part it. If you are someone that's really, really good with making wigs, you could possibly even make this look like a frontal while still having the convenience of it being a closure. So let's go ahead and talk about some pros, some cons, some of the talking points just so that you guys can be super informed before you check out the website. But make sure you go ahead and follow Sage Extensions on Instagram just so you can see some of the other products that she offers. You can see how the hair looks dyed, curled. Um, I'm really, really happy and excited for her as a person to be making this business venture. We all know how hard it is. So let's do our part and support her even if you don't buy the hair and you want to wait until maybe Christmas when you have more money make sure you follow her page and I will put it right here so let's go ahead and get into these pros and cons because you guys know I always like to tell you every single thing so that you can be super informed I wore this hair in some of the hottest hottest weather and one of the things that I can say is a pro is that it does not tangle in the back I feel like I never realized how much Brazilian hair tangled until I was outside with this hair and I was like touching on the back just to see if it was tangled enough. Just to, it's almost like a natural habit to just touch the back of it to straighten it out when it's really, really hot and I'm sweaty. And literally, there was nothing for me to detangle. So I really, really, really loved that. And that was the one thing that I feel like out of everything stood out to me is because I'm so used to the hair kind of getting a little matted up in the back with the sweat building up with it that when that didn't happen, I was just like, hold on. Hold on. The next pro is going to be the shedding. Now, I feel like with hair, all hair sheds. And I feel like for me to have worn this hair for two months and for it to only have shed the amount that you guys saw in that video was super, super impressive. Even now, as I run my fingers through it, like there's no shedding that happens. And I feel like a lot of times with certain Brazilians hair, okay, we got a strand. We have a strand. I feel like a lot of times with certain Brazilian hair, with certain textures, you get the hair that sheds a lot. So if you are someone like me and you're a beginner and you really don't trust yourself with wigs, this wig did come pre-made. I believe she had it made by another company, which I'll put on the screen here, but she'll actually be doing custom wig making services where she'll be making them in the fall and in the winter. Um, and it came with the knots already bleached and it was already plucked. Me trying to think I was a hair guru, tried to pluck it more, and you guys saw the result of that. So this kind of resembles the natural hairline pluck that it came with. Um, and I didn't pluck this anymore from once I parted it. So I don't know where the person who did the wig parted the hair. I know that for me, I created this part to the side and I did not pluck it that much. I literally probably took out two or three strands and I left it alone just because I was like, I don't want to over pluck it again. I feel like if you buy this hair, don't pluck it. Just let it be the way that it comes just because that was my regret. And this is how I feel like it came originally anyway. All I did was a plastic concealer. So you don't need to pluck more than what it already is or else it's going to be too plucked. Another pro is that with a lot of brands that I found in the past, let's say for example I get a kinky texture um, bundles, which I do have, I was not able to find a matching closure to it. So literally I have three bundles that are just sitting around in a kinky texture waiting for me to use it because I want to find a perfectly matching um, closure. The good thing is that with Sage, for every type of hair that they have, whether it's raw or processed, there's a closure that matches it so that you kind of take away the guesswork of trying to figure out how to pair it together. So that's something that I also really, really love about the brand. If you're looking at the closure itself, it pretty much matches my skin tone. All I did, like I said, was apply some concealer. Now, they do recommend that you use powder instead of liquid. 
I'm a Dia Devil. I use liquid concealer just because that's what I wanted to use. Um, but I feel like you could use powder underneath the lace. Um, but what she was saying is that when you apply concealer or foundation over time, what happens is that it oxidizes on the lace and then it makes it look a little orange. But when I wash my hair, as you guys saw, I also wash the lace delicately. So just use that up to your discretion, whichever you prefer. Definitely follow her instructions, go with powder, but I think that the concealer did get the job done as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about price. For the price, it is a little bit more expensive. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the most expensive hair that I've had just because it is raw and it's not chemically processed. So, I feel like one of the pros that comes with the price is that they offer something called Sezzle. If you guys saw my Pat McGrath Foundation review, you saw that I mentioned something called Afterpay as well as a firm. Sezzle is just like that. You're able to go ahead and buy the hair and then you can make monthly or I think every two weeks you can make a payment in order to pay off the full value of the hair. So that's really good if you are someone that needs hair, you have an engagement to go to, you have an event, you want quality hair, you want to support a black owned brand, but you know that you can't put up the money up front. They have a program where you can pay it off in increments so that you can actually get it. And I feel like with Sezzle, with anything like that, you have to be responsible with it because you don't want to rack it up until the point where you can't pay off what's left. So know yourself, know your budget, know what you can do, know what you can pay off every two weeks, and then definitely go ahead and see how the pricing could work for you. So now for me personally, if I'm comparing this hair to the other hair that I have in my collection, because I do have quite a few wigs even though I don't wear them all the time because they've gotten pretty old, I feel like this is hands down the best quality wig and the best quality hair that I've had. And I've tried hair from a few different companies. So I feel like it is well worth the investment because I know that this is gonna last for a long time. Like I said, the luster, the feel of it, the way that it didn't mat up, it has barely any shedding. I mean, I've tried a few wigs, I've tried a few brands, and this is definitely so far the top one so I'm not just saying that I'm not just recommending this to you guys because I'm working with them I'm telling you guys this because I've tried this hair out for two months before I brought this to your attention and I'll insert some clips some videos of things that I've done with the hair whether it was curling straightening it um, when I wore it out by itself so now that we've talked about all of the pros I'm gonna go ahead and get into the cons because you guys know Nothing is ever perfect for me on this channel and I always have something that I think could be better um, whether it's for me or someone else that is different so the only con that I have, and it's something that's pretty fixable, is the actual way that the wig is made. And that has nothing to do with Sage Extensions themselves. Like I said, she'll be offering that service in the fall and the winter, but as of right now, she's contracting out. Um, I feel like it's kind of my fault too because I didn't send my head measurements. So because of that, for the wig itself, the cap is a little big and there are some lumps in the back. So I feel like for me, I'm not getting the perfect like flat lay that I would want. But what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna deconstruct the wig and take the like the bundles off of the cap and re-sew it myself just so that it fits to my head. But other than that, if I'm talking about just like the quality of the hair itself and the way that the hair wears, the way that the hair washes, Honestly, it's amazing. I really, really recommend it. I'll leave all of her information on where you can purchase as well as all of the specs and everything that I mentioned about the hair with the pros and cons in the description box down below. Now, if you do go ahead and decide to make a purchase in the future, make sure you use the code NAY for 15% off. So if you use my discount code and you use Sezzle for payoff, you're definitely making an investment that in my opinion is well worth it. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and purchase some more of the hair. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any textures that you want me to try. I'm definitely not gonna be working with a lot of hair brands on this channel at all because that's not really what I'm here to do but for this brand specifically I really really like the fact that it's black owned it's quality hair it's raw hair the owner is really really nice and she's very dedicated to her brand and she's super dedicated to customer service which I think is super important so if there's any other textures that you want me to try go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below I hope that you guys enjoyed this video even though it's a bit different make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what's the best type of hair that you've tried was your worst hair experience let me know all of that in the comment section down below i love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you next time bye